Hey, coming with new updates. So we've got this new window that reports errors in Lua scripts. I'm going to make some bug in this spider script to show you. So I open its script on build and I add some spaces to the command. Now I add the spider to the simulation pressing the insert key here. And now you can see this red line that informs us about new errors reported. So I press F5 to open the Lua error report window. We can see here the, the error and some more information that I have added. So we can see that the error occurred in a script on build of robot. The robot's name is Spider1 and I can add here more information that we will need. We can scale up each line if there is more text or if this window is smaller. We can even click this button to see the script that was run when the error occurred. So we can see here that the error was on line 3, so we can easier find that place. This report is read-only, so I return to re Robot Editor to the script on build of robot and fix the bug. We can clean up table of errors here, and here we can open the Lua console window that was on F5 key before, but it is not used much, so now this report window is on F5 key. OK, I close it. The next updated thing is color picker, so I select some terrain object and click its color. You can see here the new table of colors. You can easily pick the color from it, and you can save here your own color holding the control key and clicking the mouse. This table is automatically saved. There is also this little table of last 10 chosen colors. I found it useful and easy to make, so you can easily return to some color that you have picked before. All these colors are saved with alpha channel. Here you can see which color you are changing. That's new and sometimes useful too. Okay, another new thing is this icon that we talked about. Uh, it changes the window from internal to external, so one doesn't need to remember that it works on F11 key too. The next big update is in particle systems. Now we can edit them. Editing of uh, all the parameters now works and there is a hint for each control written. Particles now work inside the robot too, so I add here one, I name it Jet, I link it to object head, I can set up some basic creation parameters, and I can set up all other particle systems parameters. They are all saved with the robot, and also undo and reduce support works here completely, so when I change some parameters, and then I press Ctrl plus Z here, uh, then we can see what, ha what change have been undone here, and we can see the changes immediately here too. Uh, there is a lot of things about the particle systems. I plan to make a detailed video about it. We can really make a lot of different particle systems, interactive and, and non-interactive. OK, there are some new updates in editing the scenario. I have added these bound boxes for the robots because a robot can contain no objects, only the particle systems, as for example this smoke. The next little update is here. We can set texture mapping to the nearest or to the linear for the windows now only the nearest mapping is set, so it is not as blurry as before with the linear filter. I have made some more optimizations to editor, so now it runs a little faster. Okay, bye.